I don't know if that is Murano or not. Um, it could be a copycat or a copy dog. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> um, Dagny laughed. Okay, well we are here today in Adamstown, Pennsylvania. And we are sitting outside of Heritage Antique Center. Uh, they're one of the few places here in Adamstown that are open seven days a week. Um, so we're gonna head in here, see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. So right inside the door here at Heritage Antique Center is this booth here. And uh, they usually have really good prices. Like for instance, this candlestick holder or candlestick holder, candle holder <laughs> um, is only $2 and 30% off all items unless marked firm. So I don't know if that's over $10 or everything, but two bucks, I'll take it. Um, it is marked Jane on the bottom. Jane and a date, which I had a hard enough time making up Jane. I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you a date on that. Something I'm going to like, but you're I have gonna, to find it. Yeah, you're really, really going to like it. Really? Yes. You're what, is, what is it? Is it this? No. This? Nope. You're getting really, really Is it this? Yes. <laughs> I think I've actually looked at this before. Isn't that fantastic? It's so weird. It's so weird, and that's why I know I've looked at it before because I thought it was weird then, and it's still just weird. It's it's weird. It's delightfully weird. Look at that, Mary Schooner. This is the section of folk art, Pennsylvania folk art. Look, there's a gut shawl wagon. I have the hearse. I have the last one. Yeah, that's a gut shawl. Luke gut shawl. Look. 125 on that. That's it. So cool. That is amazing. It's so neat. I don't think I've ever seen one that big. Good thing Andrew's not here. <laughs> wow, look at the art glass. There was one piece that caught my eye, and then, oh yeah, this one. What is that? Art glass vase 170. I'd like to get that out and get a closer look at the signature. I bet you there is one on that. It almost looks like cheetah spots or leopard spots. And then there's another pulled feather here. Strausser mom bird. So that's in more Pennsylvania folk art, I believe. That's Strausser. A little Fenton. Did you see this? Did you see this? This giant rabbit? No. Somebody in our group, Facebook group, had one of those giant rabbits. I have the Eldritch Giraffe. It's like this tall. Aren't you fancy? Look at that. I know. I love that, that thing. This always scared me. I was always afraid the shelf, whole shelf was going to give out. Isn't that a neat base? It is. Yeah, this booth used to be in the back. I know. I know. I love these Ecalibris. Aren't those delightful? Oh, and they're signed Arsenio Morales is the artist on those. So some Alabrijes are just tourist pieces, and then some are artist pieces. And so I guess these would be considered artist pieces, and that's why they're so well executed. And um, the artist is Arsenio Morales. They're so great. I love those big eyes. <laughs> they're like staring into your soul. <laughs> Oh, there is a signature on it. Oh my gosh. I can't quite make it out. Something Studios. All right, I think it might say Lundberg. I think it's 170 and 20% off, so I think I'm going to take it. That is monumental. <laughs> Krasno, Poland. Josefina, handmade in Poland. $1,000, that is insane. I feel like my kids would knock that over if I had that in my house. This is the opposite direction that we normally go in, but it's brought me luck to go the opposite direction in the past, so we're trying it out again. So I was eyeing up this dog over here, and I know that is a Murano design. Oh, case is shaking. I don't know if that is Murano or not. Um, it could be a copycat or a copy dog. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Um, Dagny laughed. Um, it's $25.
and uh, I think we'll get it out and take a closer look at it, but for 25 bucks, regardless of if it's Murano or a copycat, um, I think that would be a good deal. So let's get it out and take a closer peek. Oh, he's so wonderful. All right, 25 on that. <laughs> Just stubby little tail, he's so cute. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take him. All right. Somebody's hobbyist dog, <laughs> like encased in a paperweight. It's Gibson. It's keeping it forever. <laughs> That's so wild. There's a Murano lighthouse. Murano made in Italy. I don't think I've seen that one before. Did you see house. this? A lighthouse. Yeah. I didn't see that. You were standing right Sorry. here. <laughs> I was laughing at your jokes. <laughs> okay, I'll let it go then. <laughs> so we have all this candlewood here, and then right up here is some pretty art glass. That's so weird. Look at the bottom of that. It's almost like it was molded. It's kind of wild. I don't hate it. Six dollars. I can't tell if the color is added to it though, or if it's actually in the glass. Um, there's some carnival. <laughs> Did you see the lamp? I have this rule that I'm not buying any more lamps, but there is an exception. It's right here, staring at me. Look at how pretty that is. I love the color. It's gorgeous. It looks Italian. I'm just gonna cradle it. How much is it again? One forty-nine. No, one forty. And twenty percent off. There goes all that self-control I said I didn't have earlier. Jeez. All right, so it's one fifty, but it's twenty percent off, and I just can't say no to this color. It's vintage. It's got a vintage cord on it. It's usually a pretty good indicator that it is vintage. Usually people put new cords on lamps, not vintage cords. So. I think we'll take it. I always enjoy this booth back here. I found a really amazing piece of glass in the case here once. I always have to peek through and to see if there's any more fancy glass. That's a cute little uh, mid-century stand too. It's uh, 36. I just bought a stand at the, <laughs> the last stand. I don't need another one. <laughs> And these are cool. Those are hand painted, hand painted Dutch tiles. Those are neat. What do we have here? In Germany, brown, blue, $65. Why do you say? West Germany. Ooh, I like the colors of that. How much? 65 And NVS. NVS is 20% off. I love the lava glaze on this. Hmm. <laughs> Can it be rationalized? Oh, you know what? I think maybe. Maybe we'll grab that. Dagny, did you see this thing? It is a child riding on a bug. Oh. <laughs> is that a um, dung beetle? I have no idea what's going on there. Is it German? It looks like it's German. It does. It does look German. It's so crazy. It might be Goble. It has felt on the bottom, so we may never know. But I think Goble's the one who made the chimney sweep on the whale, which is also really bizarre. So it would make sense that there would be a child riding on a bug. <laughs> Pair up dolls, girl and boy, $50. They are darling. I'm just not sure at 50. Those are so sweet. There are some egg cups. I don't know if those would be mom's style though. I'm still trying to figure out what her style is, but I don't think that's it. Once I figure it out, I'm gonna be picking up egg cups for her everywhere I go. She's gonna be inundated with egg cups. Hmm. 
Bill Campbell, eighteen dollars. Ikebana. All right, and fifteen percent off. <laughs> you found the Ikebana. Is it Campbell? Yes. yes it is. <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt. You're two for two. I'm two for two today. I am. Ooh, that's pretty. 25 on the swirl paperweight. How come they didn't sign that? I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I would have signed it. I would have too. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> Those have a neat design to them. Canadian mounted, please. Look at all of this Finland stuff. That's crazy. Uh, they're all priced individually though, so I don't think that I would be able to make a profit on those, but I've never seen, I've never seen one that tall. Usually I find them and it's this little guy, but that's, you know, they're graduated and that one's so tall they can't even stand it up right. <laughs> that's the tallest one I've ever seen. Look at you finding the loose side. Oh, it's, a, it's a, the handles on this tray. So. I think I'd be afraid to ship that though. Yeah. It's a big piece of glass. It's pretty though. It is gorgeous. Looks like it's hard to come by today. Apparently, this is antique mall number two. I'm <laughs> striking out. Found grapes, but I don't want any more grapes. I want the other pieces. <laughs> 48. I love this biscuit jar. The shape of it. It's got great chintz design. How much was it? 48 and 20% off. I think I will take it as long as there's no boo boos. Maybe I should ask Dagny to fund it. As, as is? It does not. Oh. But I need for you to make sure that it's not. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. Okay. That's oh. pretty. Isn't it pretty? I love the shape of it. Mm -hmm. It, it has like an atomic shape. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like. But a then it has there. the chintz on it, which yeah. is completely the opposite of atomic. It's a contradiction. Looks and good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So I noticed these uh, plates down here. <laughs> They're Eduardo Vega. I don't know. Fifty dollars for nine, and I just absolutely love the design on those. So I think I'll buy them. <laughs> I'd love to use them for myself, but the problem I r might run into is trying to acquire bowls and salad plates and all of those things. But a set of nine for fifty bucks, I'll take it. All right. So when I think of Eduardo Vega, this is usually what I think of. Or pieces like this, you can see maybe. Let's see if I can zoom in. Zoom. There's like birds and it's like pastel colors. And then I was noticing there was one here as well. This is I've actually had this design before with the florals. So <laughs> that one is just kind of throwing me a little bit. Well, this was lurking in the back there. Uh, $15 and 20% off. Hmm. Love the hand painted enamel. So, we'll pick that up as well. We're gonna wander this direction. MCM Pottery Vase. Made in Italy. I would say $15, 25% off. We'll pick that up. Oops, I'm walking into things backwards. <laughs> oh, right, well, they do look like Francoma. Oh. Francoma? Yeah, they look like it. They have the right glaze. Right, well, I think we're probably going to be getting out of here in a minute. We've done the circle. It's been a while since we were here last, so... Had to make sure we saw everything. That is huge. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. That's what I'm gonna have to call today's video because I think I've said that like seven times. <laughs> I love that third. 95 on that. 
This is really pretty as well. Isn't that pretty? Art glass perfume. This is like deja vu because the last time we were here, I got a perfume out of this case. Yeah, you did. I did. And it looked very similar to that. It's really pretty. Yeah, it is. I think we'll get a closer look at that. I can't quite make out the tag. So we'll get a closer look at it and see what's up. Ooh, it's got some weight to it as well. Yeah. That's so funny. It's signed L.C. Tiffany. The last one I got out of here was signed L.C. Tiffany. It's <laughs> the same booth. I don't think it's Tiffany. I think it's uh, probably a, a knockoff of Tiffany. Mm, you know what? I think I'm going to pass on it. Um, so this is left-handed Russell Henry um, pottery. You might remember uh, when I bought a mug from Tommy um, that was also left-handed Russell Henry. Uh, it's actually signed that on the on the back. You can see left. I love this bowl. I love the flowers on it. It's fifty nine dollars. Uh, I guess ten percent off. And then also this is Seagraves. Seagraves. Um, ten bucks. It's because it's missing the ear. Um, but I think for 10 bucks, I will grab that. I just realized that back there is glass. I saw it from a distance and I'm like, wait a second. I think that might be Kralik. Kralik, depending on where you're from. Oh, look at it. Oh boy. 42 and 30% off. Pretty certain that's crazy. Like I will take it. Okay, well our total spend here at Heritage Antique Center today was five hundred and thirty-six dollars. I was really excited there at the end when I spotted that Kralik. I was like, wait a second, and it was thirty percent off. So that was so exciting. Um, I think we got some really great pieces today, and uh, that vase at the beginning too. I mean, we started off with a great piece of glass, we ended it with a great piece of glass, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> so, we get out of here now. We're gonna go visit Tommy because we have to wait for that video. And I will see you later. So long.